Hello, Joanne Andrews here on this snowy day that we didn't have orchestra. I wanted to make a video for you of Fiddler's Frolic, the B part um, for violin. So wanted to give you a little heads up on this one. It's a little trickier than you think it's going to be because of all the rhythmic changes. So make sure you're counting to yourself. Make sure that you stay with me as we're practicing it. Also, um, notice that there are some spots that don't have just open strings, okay? We've got measure three into four that have some different notes. That is actually the same thing that the A part is playing, okay? So the whole orchestra kind of is on that together. And then at the end, same thing, the last two measures. Um, the whole measure 30 through the end really is not just open strings. So that might be a section you're going to need to practice a little bit harder to be able to play with us, but you're going to love this song. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm going to play it really, really slow first. Okay, so here we go at the beginning. One, two, here I go. again for you later. Measure 17, right?
Open. One. Open. Rest. And then we pluck. Pluck. Okay. All right. That's a little tricky, I know. I know. It's tricky. But once you get it down, you're going to love playing it. Super, super fun. Okay, so I'm going to just demonstrate a little bit to you um, about the ending. Let's do the ending first because we were just there. Okay, so watch my fingers. Look how I pulled my first finger back. That's D sharp. And then you do open. Okay, so let me do that again. G, D, D, D sharp. D open. And then it's F sharp and then G. Okay. Do, I'm going to do that again really slow. Watch my fingers. Got to go back up so I can get my F sharp in tune. Okay. All right. So that's how the ending goes. Not all of that is plucking, but I just wanted to show you so you can see my fingers really close. Okay. The other place I wanted to demonstrate to you kind of like that is the third measure. Hi. Sorry. The third measure. It goes... A, 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 B, C natural, C sharp. Okay, so you do the short, long, short, first finger, low second finger, high second finger. Okay, watch that again. Regular, low, regular, high. Okay, with the C sharp. All right, I know, it's tricky. But don't lift it up to move it, okay? Because then we'll hear that note that's in between, right? So we want to just slide our fingers when we do anything um, with shifting or with sliding like that, okay? Okay, my shoulder rest fell off. Just one second. Okay, now we're going to do this again, but this time we're going to do it a little faster, okay? So if you've gotten pretty good at doing it the tempo that you're at, try it this tempo. Okay, and let's see if we can get a little bit more energy going with it. Okay. These are called double stops. I kind of yelled that out at the beginning, okay? The double stops are when we play two notes at a time. You know how to do that because we do our, our tuning like that, right? Okay, that's one of the reasons I like to do our tuning like we do because then when you have double stops, they're not freaking you out, okay? All right, here we go. A little faster. One, two, three. Here we go.
so fun, so fun. Okay, so I hope you could keep up with me on that second time. It is tricky, but you can do it, okay? You gotta practice, you gotta work really hard, but you can do this stuff, and we will have so much fun at the Monster Concert, and you'll be so excited if you can play this hard song by then, okay? It's May 2nd or 3rd, okay? So plan on practicing super, super hard so you're with, there with us on every song if you can, okay? All right, have a great one, and be safe.